Welcome to country ceremonies and now as ubiquitous as they are, inescapable. Australians are forced to sit through these rituals everywhere from the commencement of parliament to school assemblies. They're now more common than singing our national anthem. And far from being an ancient practice, these rituals began to be used by progressive activists in the early 2000s. The practice suggests that Australians whose families have lived here for generations, possibly since settlement, are not welcome. The welcome to country is nothing more than something wealthy city people love to do to make themselves feel good. All Australians have the right to call this country home, but the activists and bureaucratic classes want division as it perpetuates the victimhood mindset which they use to manipulate people. And by the way, when's reconciliation actually going to be achieved? What, what does it look like practically? Will it be achieved when we've got a treaty? When it will be achieved when Australians are paying some sort of rent tax? Or perhaps when there's a new Indigenous nation that will further divide Australians? The answer is that activists will never be happy, and we all know it, because bitterness and resentment are their bread and butter. So next time you're asked to participate in one of these ceremonies, remember, despite what they say, refusing doesn't make you a racist. So here's my memo to the grievance industry. Thanks for the virtue, theatre, but like most Australians, I'm sick and tired of being welcomed to my own country. <laughs>